Scott Simone, good morning. Yeah, and according to a new uh, Nerd Wallet survey, a vacation this summer will cost 15% more than what it was before the pandemic. And that is because a number of factors involved here. Airline extras like seat selection fees, as well as dining out and entertainment costs are making a huge dent on Americans' wallets. Vacation activity costs like uh, visiting an amusement park, we're talking Disneyland, Disney World, Universal, that's risen around 3.4% too. And eating out, of course, a whopping 30% rise. These numbers on top of the International Air Transport Association who just predicted that rising fuel costs will be passed down to the customer. Still, Valley Travel Agent Jennifer Pierce says all of this is not keeping people from traveling this summer. Take a look. It's not really keeping people away from traveling. They're just cha changing how they're traveling. Um, where they used to be going maybe seven, ten days, they might be going only, you know, five or six days um, to get into that budget they want to go. So they're not really not going. They're just changing how they're traveling. Or they're going to Europe where their dollar is a little bit stronger. A few things to consider to save some money this summer. Maybe a uh, travel rewards credit card. Use those miles. Pierce says if you haven't already booked your 4th of July vacation, you're definitely going to be paying a premium. Otherwise, she says you can look at some earlier flights. Wake up with GMAS before you hop on that airplane. That might be able to save you some money, too. We'll send it back to the studio. Yeah, I've a lot never of looked at it that way. <laughs> that way or like flying on the off-peak days, yeah. like going yeah. in the middle of the week randomly. Right. Sometimes that's a lot cheaper, yeah. too. Ugh. Like leave on a Tuesday morning, come home Tuesday night. <laughs> Just one night, one night only. <laughs> yeah, one day. All right, David, thank you.